Okay, now we wanna talk about the functions of the dual axis turntable. And what we're gonna go over right now is just the manual settings that it has. Because later in the video, we'll talk about how you can use RevoScan and also Revo Assistant on your phone to operate the dual axis turntable. But first of all, just the manual settings. Here's your power cable. Plug it in right here. And as you can see, I mentioned earlier, we have different adapters that you can plug into the different outlets around the world. Really easy to switch that out. There's just a button right here that says push and you can slide this out. And that slides it right out, depending on the different wall outlets that you're gonna be using. Slide it back on and I can plug it in and it'll automatically start turning the second I plug it in. So it starts rotating and let me show you the manual functions on the turntable itself. As you can see right here, the center button is on or off. I think the right or left is for the tilt. When it comes to the manual functions, it will not adjust which way it's rotating, clockwise or counterclockwise. That can only be done in Rebel Scan or Rebel Assistant. So for the manual functions, only adjusting the tilt here. So you can do it one at a time and it gradually starts tilting or you can hold it all the way down and it'll move its way all the way down. And you don't have to worry about it letting go as it's getting to the bottom, it's just gonna cut out once it gets to its limit. And then if you wanna bring it back to zero, just double click the middle button. And that resets it. Or vice versa, again on the left side for the tilt, hold it all the way down and it tilts all the way. Or you can click it individually to the setting you want, to the degree you want. And again, double click for back to zero. So then you have that going on and here we have the sticky pad. As I mentioned earlier, really a nice item for the dual axis turntable. Put that in the center and then if whatever smaller item you're gonna be scanning, stick them on there. And obviously now he is not going to slide off. And that'll make it easier for you to get all the different angles, all capture all the point clouds, the intricate the intricate parts of your model as you're scanning because you can adjust it and he's not sliding off. Double tap to bring it back to zero. And then, and it really does stick on there very well as you can see. <laughs> you should be able to reuse it. When you take it off, just make sure you put it back in between the plastic that it comes in. And then we have our marker dot table that you just simply, or marker dot pad that you just simply put on the surface, pull it out of the plastic, and you can use that. Okay, now we wanna go through the benefits of, and the features of using Revel Scan, syncing it up with a dual axis turntable. First of all, I have it open here, and as you can see, the just go to accessories, click that, and then you can see dual axis turntable is one of the options. Click connection, and then this particular axis, dual axis turntable pops up, select it, click connect. And then it informs you when it's connected. And later when you want to disconnect it, just simply click disconnect. But for now, save that. And now it is connected. And notice this, when you go back to accessories now, make sure dual axis turntable is highlighted. Now settings is available. So click settings, and then from here, previously, when we weren't using RevelScan, we were using the manual functions on the dual axis turntable to adjust the speed and the tilt. Now we can do that all from RevelScan, so that's really cool. So I can turn it up. Right here, I can start it up, adjust the speed, make it really fast. Again, it has the reset option goes back to its standard speed. I can adjust the angle from right to left, reset, go to the left, reset. And for example, if I want this at, let's say 13 degrees, a little bit faster, then 
leave it spinning and I could just exit this and I'll start my scan. Or this is a nice feature. Go back to accessories, dual axis turntable, settings, and you see how it says dual axis turntable sync. So I could pause this right now, sync it, and now when I exit this settings, now when I click start on Revel Scan to start scanning, it's synced with the turntable so the turntable will start rotating when I start the scan itself. Notice. Very cool. And if I pause it, it will also pause. So just a handy feature with that. That is the benefit. You could just continue to do it manually, start it up, let it continue rotating, and then manually start here, but it's kind of nice having them synced. Start it, pause it, cancel. And then if you want to unsync it, go back to the dual axis turntable settings, unsync it and reset if you'd like. All right, now we want to go over how to use the dual axis turntable in Revo Assistant. So that's an app that you need to download. So first go to your app store, type in Revo Assistant. And it pops up. I've already downloaded it, so now at this point I just simply open it. And then it'll prompt you dual axis turntable or large turntable. So we're still going over the dual axis turntable at this point. You see that it says it's disconnected. Click that and we're going to connect it. And this particular one is starting with the serial number, the 03. So I'm going to select that one. It says it's connected. Great. Let's go back. And now I'll click it and it should open up my settings. So this is very cool. Now you can see I can start just with the convenience of the phone in my hand. Pause it, start, adjust the angles. So Revel Assistant is ultimately turning your phone into a remote. Reset it. Adjust the angle the other way. Reset it. Also a very cool thing about Revel Assistant, notice on here it says Advance. So let's click that and then it says Add New Preset. Click that as well and let's call this one 1A, okay? And now literally you can program how you want the turd table to act within this. So first of all, within here I can adjust the direction if it's going clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm gonna let it go clockwise. And then you can adjust the angle. So I'm gonna turn it all the way to 30 and then save it. Again, speed, I'm gonna turn it all the way up save that and as for turns it's just going to go around once cool this is also very nice then you can select again add new function so after it completes that process now i want it to rotate counterclockwise so select that i'm going to turn the angle all the way to the opposite direction but 30 degrees save it also turn the speed all the way up save and again, one rotation. Save the whole process. Great. And now notice now if I click out of this, it'll prompt me, have you saved it? Yes, I've saved it. And now you can see there, it says 1A. So let's open it up again and let's see how it's done in remembering what I just programmed it to do. So let's start it. So in starting it, it should turn all the way over here, rotate fast, one revolution, then turn all the way back and rotate the other way. Let's try it out and start. So it's gonna go around one time and then it'll rotate to the left and twist the other way at the high speed. Very cool, look at that. So the benefit of this would be obviously sometimes if you don't wanna be moving the scanner to catch maybe the top of the head or different angles. It's kind of nice. You can program how you want the turntable to do and it's gonna capture the whole, all the point clouds 
on the particular image that you're scanning. So great, now I can uh, click back. And if I want to just go back to manual settings again, I can start it up and do everything manually. That is the benefit of Revel Assistant.